Hello everybody and welcome to today's Community Connection. I am Jenna Brooks, your local Set and Select Realtor, and today I am sitting with none other than Patty Howard. You may know her, um, I think you're what, a golf extraordinaire? <laughs> For those uh, who are avid golfers, probably have heard Patty for what? Your three provincial championships? Uh, first female head pro at uh, West Haven Golf and Country Club. And what was the other first female uh, on the board of directors of the PGA? Oh, you got it. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, so many accolades, it took me a while to go through those. I just like, what an honor. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. And I think that all just means um, I've been in business a long time. I'm pretty old. <laughs> hey, we all, uh, we all have our strengths and yours is definitely experience and hard work. I can only imagine. How long have you been golfing? Like, when did you start golfing? I would probably start golfing when I was like seven or eight, my dad took us to the driving range for something to do and he decided to take up golf when he was in his 40s so you don't have to start really young. Oh, wow. um, he took us as a family and it was just something that I really loved to do and uh, in 1960 wow. he, he joined Sunningdale Golf Club and I got to be a junior member there and uh, we had a great junior program so to me that's really important today that there's lots of good junior programs. Um, because of that I just became really really interested in it and uh, not that I think I was going to have a career in it, but I really loved golf, and uh, as it turned out, I ended up having a fantastic career I mean, in something that I love to do. And why, like, what do you love about golf? Like, uh, you know, everybody is a little bit different, but what is it about the sport, about the game that you really love? Well, first of all, it's a game for a lifetime, so that, that is really nice. I mean, being outside on a nice sunny day, the scenery is yes. beautiful, it's very social, you're meeting new people all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a challenge of the sport too. I mean, that mental challenge. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love to say that I'm a golfer, but I don't have the patience for it. I don't know how you do it. So golf professional and a teacher? Started off um, as a playing professional, so I went to the States and played for a number of years. Okay. And. Um, I tried for my tour card in 1980, came pretty close, but oh. uh, decided that lifestyle wasn't what I wanted to do. It's, okay. um, you know, living on the road all the time isn't exactly uh, fun for me, anyways, right. and uh, so I came back to London, and, okay. and the opportunity to start at West Haven was a great time in my life, and to start with a brand new club, and um, all new members, so I got to know pretty well every single member at the club, and, you know, starting right from scratch was really fun and challenging. I mean, many, many long hours, but uh, yeah. fantastic. And I met great people that I still know today. And friendships for life. Yeah, friendships for life, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your greatest accomplishment? Wow. It's a tough question. I mean, that's a tough question. I mean, just the fact that it was a male-dominated sport, I mean, it still kind of is. It's certainly getting better, but when I started, I was the second female to be a member of the Canadian PGA. Wow. My male for the first few years would become Mr. Patty Howard. What? Um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it was just really, really different back then. So um, to be able to continue in a male-dominated sport and, and uh, make it uh, felt really good. Okay. So. And you're retired now. I am retired now, yes. So what's <laughs> retired life like? Retired life is great because, as I said, I had been 40 years in the golf business and you know, I wasn't sure when I was going to retire um, because I loved it so much, but it is very time-consuming and it, you, know, you miss a lot of family and friends events. Um, and then the fact that I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 21 years ago now, um, that didn't allow me to work as much as I would like to have. So, um, but I stayed for 40 years and I knew the timing was right and so I have no regrets whatsoever and mm -hmm. retirement has been fantastic. Beautiful. So yeah. what's an average day like for you now? Um, well, uh, golf used to occupy my life. Now I still want golf to be a part of my life but mm -hmm. not to not consume it. Not consume mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, I love to bike ride a mm -hmm. lot, and um, I'm learning to garden a little. And it sounds really silly, but just to spend some time at home because I never ever got to spend any time at home. I'd be gone for morning, noon, and night. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. And travel. And travel. Yeah. Where Where's the the most recent place you've traveled? 
Um, I was in Australia and New Zealand, and um, one of my bucket list items was to go to Scotland and play St. Andrews, so the old course, I got to do that. And I guess my last trip was to Cabot Cliffs and Cabot Links last summer, and that was another bucket list. The golf courses oh, there were spectacular. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, okay. it's great. Okay. And if you had one tip for all the fans out there um, in terms of preparing for a match, what would that be? Um, just not to be so hard on yourself. Um, golf isn't, isn't really an easy sport, even when you play and practice a lot. There's days where your body just doesn't feel right and you know it's just one of those days and try not to be so hard on yourself. Try to be a bit more positive when you go out there and obviously stretching is important no matter what age you are before you swim the golf club. You should never just, you know, a lot of players I would see through my career would race from work and I mean I guess I would be guilty too. Race from work and step on the first tee and pull out the longest club in the bag, the driver and swing it and that's really hard on your body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite club? Uh, my driver. You driver. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So today, Patty is going to show us how she sets up her grip on her club, and you're going to teach me? Oh, sure. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, well, we're going to uh, start off with, uh, there's lots of kinds of putters on the market, so what, the best thing to do would be to be fitted for a club, whether it's a putter or any other club in the bag. Okay. But putting is a little bit more individual, so there's lots of different ways to doing, to doing it as far as even how you, you grip the club. Okay. So you can have your left hand on top and basically just have your palms facing each other okay. and your right hand a little bit lower. But in today's day, a lot of people putt differently and have the left hand low. Oh. Um, people, yes, yeah, just like that. Hmm. So there's lots of different ways. You have to find what feels comfortable. But I'd say to start with, just start with the normal grip of the left hand up there and the right hand there. Now I've heard of and some people linking these fingers. Uh, for putting, it doesn't matter. No. It's entirely okay. what feels comfortable for you. Okay. What's important is putt in putting is that your eyes are pretty much over where the ball would be. So. There we are, all right. Perfect. And so that's why it's important to get a putter that's fit for you because we're not all the same height. Um, so your eyes are over the ball. You can stand to what feels comfortable. As I said, putting is a little different than the rest of the game where you need to do a lot more things um, a certain way in the rest of the swing, but putting is more what's comfortable. So feet shoulder width apart. Um, what's important in putting is that you keep your lower body extremely still okay. and your eyes right over the ball and you're just going to move your arms and shoulders in a pendulum motion. That's it. And one of the biggest tips I would say if you're doing a fairly short putt is that you listen for the ball to go in the hole. Ooh, okay. So in other words, your eyes stay right over the ball. Don't follow your eyes towards the hole. Keep my so, head there. Yeah, so it's just your arms and your shoulders and you can relax your elbows a little bit. Again, what feels comfortable for you. But your lower body's still and your eyes are still right over the ball. Can you hear it? It just went in the hole. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patty. And if you have anything to say to the women of West Haven, what would it be? I wish all of you ladies at West Haven and all the guests today have a fantastic day on, on Monday. Enjoy your member guests. Um, chance to meet new members great food and drink and yes. of course the golf course and thank you very much for all your support perfect thank you so much i'm jenna brooks this is your community connection wishing you a great day